Yo, what is up everybody, welcome back to another video, as always this is your boy Reddy from Top Notch Programmer and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a python bot that can automatically comment in the tiktok videos, in the trading videos in tiktok. I'm gonna be using python programming language and another module that is called PyAutoGUI. I'm not going to be using uh, WebDriver and Selenium as in other videos, but this time I'm using another one. Um, I'm going in this video. I'm going to code step by step. I'm going to show you how to build this and not just get the code from GitHub and set up in our computer. The reason why I'm doing this is that. Uh, with the module PyAutoGUI works in another way from WebDriver and Selenium. PyAutoGUI automates mouse and the keyboard in your computer depending on the screen resolution and the pixels on your screen. So if I built a bot for my computer and uh, if you want to use it, you can't use it because you might have a different resolution and different pixels. So this is why I'm, I'm showing you step by step how to build it. So you can build it for your own, I can build it for my own and everyone can use them. With all that said, let's jump right into this video. But before starting, please make sure to smash the like button and click the subscribe button. So you'll be always notified when I upload a new video on my channel. Okay, welcome back and let's jump right into it without losing time. So the first thing you have to do is to install Python. If you don't have if you don't have Python installed, you can't continue with this video because this is the language that we are using. And to, to download Python, just go to python.org slash downloads. You can find the link on the description and download the latest version, Python 3.9. But I recommend you to install Python 3.8 because it's more stable and doesn't show any error. Okay, now we can start building our bot and the first thing you have to do is to create a new folder. I'm creating a new folder in my desktop. This is the location where the bot uh, will be built. I'm calling it just a bot. And inside the folder, open the folder and uh, now we're gonna use uh, a code editor that I especially that I really like. It's called VS Code. You can download it from the internet. Just go and search in Google VS Code download and you're gonna download it very easy. And uh, to open this folder in VS Code, just right click inside the folder and open it with code. So if you click open with code, the VS Code will immediately open with inside our project. And now here we can create our files and we can start coding the bot. So inside the bot folder we can click this uh, plus button to create a new file and we can call it just uh, bot.py because it's a python file and inside here we have to import our module. As I said before we are going to use pyautoGUI and uh, we go to internet to search about this module, just type by auto GUI, and here is the website pyautogui.redox.io, and here we can find everything we need, the documentation, and other things. So just scroll down, and the first thing you have to do is to install using pip. So to install it, here is the the command. Just copy pip install by auto GUI and go back to VS Code. So to install requirements, we need a, a terminal. And to open terminal, just click on the terminal menu and new terminal. Now we have an integrated terminal inside the VS Code and we can paste our command pip install py, uh, py GUI. And if we press enter, everything is going to be installed and ignore this message is not a problem. Now we have it installed and if we go back to the website, we can import it using import by autogui and just copy this and paste into your file. And now we have it imported. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to create a new file right now. Uh, it's another small bot that is, that is going to tell us about the location of the mouse and the pixels that we need later. Uh, I'm going to create another file here. Just call it uh, pick. 
I'm just calling yeah I'm just calling it pick dot py because it's going to pick the the resol the mouse location and also we need to import the pi auto GUI import the pi auto GUI here we're gonna use pi auto GUI to pick our location of the mouse the pixels and to do this we can go back to the website and we can copy this uh, current mouse x and y axis so we get x and y axis for, for our mouse and we can paste this so it's creating a, a variable with x and y and pi auto GUI is getting the position now we need this just for copying and using it later in the bot so I'm just going to print it, this out uh, print in our uh, terminal and to print to print it uh, we have actually this returns an integer and we can't print the integer using uh, the comma so I have to stringify it and to stringify just type st st uh, str and uh, put the current current mouse x and I'm gonna add a comma plus a string and sign string we have put the comma and also we have to add the current mouse y <laughs> now we save the file and let's test it out uh, if we go to terminal and we, we type python uh, pick.py enter and we ha have a problem here so can only concentrate string not integer to string okay I forgot to stringify the second uh, position here so let's stringify it and we save and now we can test again and here we go we have the position of the mouse here and if I put the mouse here for example let's click if I put it here and run it again we have a different position if I move it again and run again we have again a, dis a different position and different pixels so we, we're gonna use these pixels to to locate where the mouse is going to click and um, later in the bot so uh, we have the this small mini bot here that will will help us now we can jump into the bot.py the main file where the bot will be located uh, now let's make this window smaller because we need to use the browser and we can open a new tab here and now let's go to tiktok.com so go to tiktok.com and make sure to log in we have to be logged in because if we don't log in we can't uh, comment in the videos as you can see now I am already already logged in and I don't have to log in now to uh, to make the bot we need the the mobile version and to open the mobile version in the Chrome we can use the inspector and to open the inspector just right click and click inspect we are going to simulate and now to, to open the mobile version you have to click this small uh, button here, here this is going to change it into mobile as you can see um, I am already changed to mobile and I can choose here phones uh, I chose iPhone 6 or anything you want you can choose whatever and now to, to show the the mobile version we have to refresh just refresh the page and now we have the mobile version of TikTok in our browser so it's very easy as you can see and here we go we have this video here and we can we can scroll and see the others video other videos okay now we are going to uh, code the bot to make it comment in our videos and to do this we are going to open the, the VS Code 
uh, in the side of the TikTok because we are going to locate our mouse and now we can uh, go ahead and code. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to scroll and to pause the video first because when you open the video it just go ahead and plays but we have to pause and to pause the video we have just to click in the middle of the video and to click in the Pyauto GUI we can go to Pyauto GUI documentation and we can see this click we need this command this code here click and we have to put the position of mouse there so if we go back to TikTok and the code in the same time we can uh, paste the command and now we have to get the location as we get before uh, in the terminal and now we click on the terminal and we locate the mouse in the middle of the video as you can see here the mouse is in the middle of the video and in the terminal we just uh, press the up key and we have the the old command and now we if we press enter the python pick.py will run and we sh will show us the the pixels and the location of our mouse we're going to copy this and paste inside the code and now the code is going to click inside the uh, the video and is going to pause the video okay so we pause the video and now we can wait for th for some th seconds and to wait we have to import uh, um, the time module and to import it just type import time and to wait uh, for the bot we ha we can use time dot sleep and inside par parenthesis we can put the number of the seconds that we want to sleep and for example I'm just going to put two seconds we can wait for two seconds and we can go ahead so we pause the video and now we have to uh, what we have to do we have to click on the comments so here is a comment uh, box the comment icon and we have to click on it and to, to find the location again we have to use the terminal as we did so we click on the terminal we locate the mouse in the icon of the comment and we uh, run the command with up key and uh, press enter and now we have to we are generating another uh, location here we copy that and here we just type by auto GUI dot click now we clicked on the icon of the comments I'm going to put some comments in the code to, to, to understand what this code is doing. So here we pause the video. Here we open the comment. We open the comments. Let's make this smaller. Now, after open the comments, we have, if we click on the comments, the comments will open and now we have to uh, click on the input box of the comments so go back to the code and after clicking on the comments we, we have to wait some times for the, to load the comments so again we put time dot sleep time dot sleep uh, I'm going to wait four seconds to load all the comments and then we have to click on the uh, input box so uh, input box I'm putting comment to understand better and now we can type again pyautogui dot click dot click and uh, to click we have uh, where we have to click we have to click inside the add comment input so to get the location again we click on the terminal we locate the mouse in the add comment and with up key again enter and we get the location so copy it I'm going to do it more faster now so I think 
I hope you understand it how I, I'm doing it. So Python uh, now it's clicked it's clicking inside the comment box and we have we are clicked and now uh, what we have to do we have to write our comment. So to write our comment Uh, first we have to add a uh, time.sleep because uh, this will help uh, if we, if we ha you have a small uh, slow connection it will uh, load it will want sometimes to load and this will crash the bot so we have to add some time so just two seconds and after clicking we have to write our comments and to write comment just type pyautogui dot write and inside this we have to put in the string we have to put the, uh, the comment so I'm just typing this is my comment this is my comment and another thing uh, it's an attri attribute that I'm, we are going to put here that is interval be between characters so the interval if we if we type in interval and uh, if we if we make it zero it is not going to have any any interval between uh, typing uh, characters but if we type uh, 0 0.2 for example it will type the the character slower so I'm going to leave it 0 0.2 to look more human and now we typed the uh, the character and the comment so now we can wait again time.sleep we are going to wait for two seconds and then we have to click the uh, the button to send the comment so let's type it this is my comment and now we have to click this uh, rose button here and uh, to send the comment and to do this we have to locate the location of the mouse in the button and to do this just type uh, press in there to activate the terminal and locate your mouse here in the in the button and just type python pick.py and we get the location so copy that and now we have to send the comment with click so click and we paste the number the pixels so now we have uh, sent our comment so if I click here the comment will be sent and here it is now what we have to do is to close the comment box so to close it we have to locate again so press on the terminal and locate your mouse in the X enter and we get the location we copy it again and we have to sleep some time because it needs some time to send uh, the comment and I'm, I'm sleeping for five seconds and then we have to close so click and paste the location of the button so now we have clicked on the X button we save the file with control plus S and now we ha we are if I click X now we can scroll in the another videos so to scroll in the another video we just have to scroll on this way but to scroll we have to move we have to move our mouse here first and then we have to move it right up and to, so we can scroll up and to do this we have to go back to the documentation of Payato GUI and maybe we can find here any document in the mouse controls here we have mouse drugs so we have to drag the video up so mouse click mouse scrolling mouse uh, clicks where is drag? okay here we go we have the drug so I had agree the drug to we are going to drug to somewhere so I'm going to 
get this second here because we have uh, three numbers here and the third number is uh, used for the time that we want we want to scroll so now we, we are scrolling and after closing let's wait for some times so time to sleep two seconds now we are going to scroll and here we have to put the location of scroll but first we have to locate our mouse in the in the bottom of the video so if we go to TikTok here we have to look for a mouse first and to move our mouse in the bottom of the video let's oh shit I want to pause this video because it's not letting me okay it's another video here just pause the video and here in the VS Code, we click to activate our terminal again, and we are going to locate our mouse here in the bottom of the video, so we can scroll up. So here, locate your mouse here, and in the terminal, pythonpig.py, and we get the location. And to move, to move mouse on that location, we can use uh, a command. That it move that is called move to move. We move to, and we we move to that location, and we, after moving, we have to scroll, and to scroll we we are, uh, here we have to put the location where we want to scroll. So we want to scroll from bottom to up. So uh, we are going to locate uh, the mouse here, but first activate the terminal and move the mouse here and python pick.py and we get the location it's very very easy you, you just have to get location to sleep and it's very very easy just paste now the location of the where we want to scroll and here is the time uh, I'm, I'm leaving this just one for one second is going to scroll up for one second so now we have we are scrolled and what we're gonna do we're gonna pause the video so the, the pause the video is here so I don't think we need anything else so we pause the video and okay let's give a test and to test it move your window uh, in the side of the of the videos in the TikTok because this won't let uh, the mouse interact with the, your videos. So to start the bot now, just type Python bot.py, and now let's see. We click on the comments. We click on the input box, and it's writing our comment okay it's good now it will send it okay we have a problem here and we let's stop the bot and see to stop it just control plus Z leave this I have to put more sleep because by, uh, the bot goes very very fast and uh, because the computer is slow and it doesn't catch all the things now uh, here in uh, open comments is good input box okay let's increase this number here to five and we click here and four we write the comment we wait four seconds and we click this, wait seven seconds, three seconds here, and we are going to scroll. Mm. Okay, let's start the video, start it, and run the bot again. Okay. Let's pause the video, 
click on the comment box and we go to input box we write the comment with the slow speed because look is is going to look more like human and uh, TikTok will not ban you oh actually I'm not I'm not clicking in the send button and I don't know why okay let's see this is the comment we go here in a comment and we have to click here but why is not clicking this is my comment we wait four seconds and we click okay let's get the location of this comment again so to get it just uh, activate your terminal and locate your mouse in the right button and go to the pick.py and we get this location so now we can paste the location in the okay let's see which one is this so we type the comment here and then we wait and it seems to be this one so it's here and now we click on the send and we have to click in the X so let's pick again the X button I have messed something here so I'm going to do it again locate your mouse in the X pick it and here we go we have the location and hmm looking it's looking good but I don't know let's test let's test from the beginning okay I found the problem here and actually I didn't save the file and it was very very confusing for me okay everything was going fine but I didn't save the file correctly so after clicking we send the button with send the comment and then we scroll so we have all this stuff here but we want this to be repeated because just scroll 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 and comment comment in each video and to repeat all this thing we just create a loop here and we can use a for loop if we want to specify how many times we want but I'm going to do this unlimited and I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to use here a while loop so while uh, while is true while true we have to loop all this stuff so just cop uh, just select all the code and press tab now we have it inside our while loop and now it's going to loop this code every time now we have to test this out again so we save the file and we have to play the video because the bot, the bot will stop it and we run pythonbot.py so now it uh, pause the video click on the comments click on the comment box again we put this is my comment and click on the send button comment is posted and what we have to do now we have to close okay now it scrolls down and go again to the comments and yeah as I said you is very very simple you just have to do this like click and wait click wait move mouse press this keys and then here we go we have all the bot here uh, as I said you before you have to code this in your own because I have different resolution screen from your uh, browser and from your screen and you can do this if I gonna do this bot and uh, I'm going actually I'm going to pause this in my github you can get the code you can try it but it, it will not work only if you have the same resolution with my screen uh, I have it I think it's a 1080p but uh, you can try it uh, but I recommend you code in your own uh, this is my first time doing this bot and using this module this is why I'm very very slow and having pl problems on it and uh, but I think I hope you like this and you can leave this bot running all night 
without any problem and you can send comments you can advertise anything you can bring your followers or and you can increase the number of your followers you can influence using TikTok, and you can do a lot of things so this was my video for today i hope you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so we can break the youtube algorithm and we can share this video to everyone that is in need of that and join my discord server if you have any question it, it's my server is almost dead but if you join the if you join it you can we can bring it back again and we can do this community amazing this is my first time showing my face on my videos uh, if you want me to show the face on my videos, please let me know in the comments, comment below if you want this. And with all that said, I'm closing this video right now and I see you in the next videos. Peace.